DJ Nick, DJ Nick. You'll like the video within 5 seconds or you're going to airball a wide open shot with your takeover. I would not risk it. Yo, it's good lock em up nation coming at y'all with another banger. I'm going to show y'all the best rep method. But not only am I going to show you the best rep method, it's going to be with a little twist. This play is to get the alley-oop every single time. We all know that's the best play. But there is a glitchy play. And there are other ways to get alley-oops. So, make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 5k. So, hit that sub button. And turn on post bell notifications. I mean, the play I'm about to show you is so glitchy. I mean, just look at how easily we're getting lost. Obviously, not the best players. But, still. Also, there is some patience that is required to get our oops So don't force it in the very beginning of the play. Sometimes you gotta work for it, as you're seeing in some of these clips right here. And then there are some that just come very, very easy. Like right here, I could have took the layup, but we're gonna get the lob. I mean, come on. We're trying to get that rep. We're trying to hit that legend. I'm going to show you how to play, but first, some very, very important advice. First thing I'm going to tell you guys before I even show you the lob play, do not force the lob if it's not there. There's going to be teams that are weird and want to sip pain, and they don't want to see you wrapping up. They don't want to see you winning. So if you have to shot, just take it. Now, if they're a really bad defensive team and you can create an opportunity for the lob, go ahead. But if they're hell-bent on not letting you get the lob, just take the threes. If you're a play shot, you actually get a decent amount of rep for shooting. So, just take the shots while it's there. So, one way you can do this is when you get the ball, if you're the one being inbound at the ball... Give it to your lob guy and then just penetrate, go into the paint and just throw it up. Most of the time that works, believe it or not, they won't expect that. I mean, if you're the one that's getting the ball inbound to you, you gotta get a little creative. You gotta work for it. You see he's sitting paint right there, but I tried to force it. He kicks it back out. Sometimes you gotta be patient. It's gonna take more than one attempt or more than one drive whatever so this is the play right here when the lob catcher gets the ball you're gonna want to get behind his man that way he gets stuck on you and you throw the lob more often than not a guard's gonna be at the one and he's gonna be too small to be able to do anything and of course he can go for the backdoor lob if not against the best defenders in the world you can abuse these the whole game especially when you play against bots Playing against bums is obviously great because their defense won't be as good and you can just abuse lobs and flashy passes all day. LU passes, they cap off at 8. So if they're 8 LU assists, go for flashy passes. You can either drive and flashy pass to a shooter or you can drive and flashy pass to a cutter for the dunk. Or you can just flashy to your finisher and he can just rim run. Whatever the case may be. Another thing you can do to make this play more effective is when you get behind the lob catcher's man. Watch what I'm going to do when I get the ball. I'm going to hold LT. LT if your PS4. It gives him a little more of a cushion because he might run into me and bump off me. And maybe he'll even get a bump animation. Look right here. You see how he gets the bump? He was completely stuck on me. He had no shot of getting back in that play. But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications to road to 5k. Make sure you click one of these videos for more content, tutorials, or creative content. Alright, I'm out. Peace.